Questions for DJ? So much of the first few weeks, a lot of installing, a lot of continuing to learn the offense. Just how do you measure your improvement from the beginning of camp to now? Um, I feel like I've done a good job. I feel like I've learned the offense. I feel like I've definitely gotten more comfortable with it with all the motions, the installs, um, especially going out in the game plan. You know we're going to run for the game. Uh, while fall camp, spring ball, you have like a huge variety of plays you got to remember. Uh, when the game plan starts to get shrunken down, you know what the plays are going to be called on certain down distances. So it's been a lot easier, and it's been fun, man. I've had a good job. I've had a fun time. Uh, just being able to learn the offense, be able to game plan with the coaches, be able to understand how Coach Novell, Coach Atkins, Coach Tokar thinks. Uh, it's been a fun process. Though. Coach Novell's talked about the growth of the wide receivers, especially in the last week or so. You know, what have you seen from those guys? Now they're doing an unbelievable job, man. Uh, I think the biggest thing, man, they're competing each and every single day. They're running full speed routes every single rep, and then they're making plays, man. You know, they're finishing the reps. Finishing those catches, getting the yak after the catch too. Uh, it's been explosive, man. So I'm happy to see that, man. They've done a hell of a job right now. What, what does that do for you when you see them consistently making those contested catches? Like yeah, man, makes my job easy. Yeah, I just got to put it in the spot, and I know they're going to make the catch, make the grab, and make me look good. So at the end of the day, they've done an unbelievable job. Uh, just coming out to work each and every single day, having that mindset, come out there, compete, and then they've just been dominating. It's been good to see. What about the emergence of Jalen Brown? He's been making some kind of plays over recently. Sir. Yeah, no, he's done an unbelievable job, man. I think from the start of fall camp, you can tell he's coming with a different mindset, with his dog mindset, coming in, taking the reps, wanting to be want to be a perfectionist with the reps, with the routes, coming in each and every day, approaching the reps. He's done a really good job, man. I'm happy to see that from him. He's been balling. How would you describe your style of leadership for the team? And how do you hope to set the tone for that in the first game? Uh, for me, man, I'm kind of a quiet guy. Uh, just kind of lead by example. Don't need to talk. Not too much of a rah rah type of guy. It's kind of just say my piece uh, here and there. Uh, biggest thing for me, man, is going to be a great teammate, be a great leader, uh, and just lead by example for the guys. When you look what at Georgia see? Tech, and you know they obviously have a good defensive coordinator, what have you seen from the Georgia Tech defense so far? Yeah, uh, I think we got a, a bunch of guys coming in. Um, we got a couple transfers. I think the D line, they're really good on the D line. Uh, athletic with the linebackers, good size, and then the DBs and safeties. They done a really good job. And big guys can move really well. Uh, I think they do a really good job, man. It'll be a good game for us, good test. What have you seen from Malik Benson? You know, he's going to be your wide receiver one out there, probably the guy you have to trust most. What do you think of him? How's that relationship been? Uh, it's been great, man. Uh, for me, man, he makes it easy on me. You know, he, he makes the catches. Uh, wants to come out and work each and every single day. He's a guy he'll always ask me. He'll always tell me he's open, and I appreciate that. You know, you got a receiver, like, hey, man, throw me the rock. I'm always open. And that's what you want to hear, man. So he's done an unbelievable job, man. He's a good dude, too. Bell made the comment that he felt like this team really loves to play with one another and he sees them coming together. Do you get that sense from your perspective, especially around the offense? A hundred percent. I think uh, for us, man, even our, even defense too, like we're a tight-knit group on the team. We all love each other. We all want to play for one another, man. At the end of the day, we all have a common goal. We want to win each and every ball game. We want to come out, compete, uh, help, your brother, help each and other our teammates out. We do crossover and stuff like that, compete for one another, give each other a look. At the end of the day, keep each other safe, man, and go out there and ball out for the game. How excited are you just to get out there and play for FSU for the first time? Super excited, man. Um, this is an unbelievable opportunity God's given me. Uh, Coach Unveil and all the coaches uh, have given me the opportunity to be able to come here and be a Florida State Seminole. So I want to be able to represent the Seminole proud, proud and I represent for my teammates, man. So I'm super excited. Is this the first time you ever traveled overseas before? Yeah, no, I've never been out the country before. This, so this is the first time. Uh, I'm excited, man. Finally get to use my passport. Yeah, so it's pretty <laughs> dope. Yeah. What was the initial reaction when you surprised your teammates with these by Dre headphones? Oh, uh, they were super excited. Uh, they were thankful. Uh, shout out to my good people at Beats, man, for be able to for letting me to do that, to be able to get my teammates a pair of headphones for the trip and for the rest of the season. So I appreciate that. Very good, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, how's it going? When do we get our beats?